We are live on twitch.tv slash San Rixamremian. San Rizzle. What's the weirdest way you've heard somebody pronounce my name? Handle. Um, I only hear San Rixamremian. By the time I knew you, you were already very popular, my friend. Oh. Everybody knew who you were. <laughs> 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 I heard um, San Rixish, San Rixish, and I'm like, hey, you did hug so good. You got like the whole first part in there. Like, just close. sound it out, buddy. Read all the letters. Um, <laughs> it is, it looks like word salad when you first look at it. I get it. It's a made up word. Um, so, I mean, egg. You really just gotta sound it out. That's all. Just sound it out. Um, you know, like, I learned how to do that in my reading class, but I understand if you missed it in your reading class, other friends and other people. Like, I missed the day where we learned how to read large numbers, like 300,000. Like, I was in my gifted class that day, playing with broom handles, turning them into uh, lightsabers, and After Effects, like, two or one at that point. <laughs> um, so I was doing that instead of learning how to read, like, 300... In 87,534. Like, I really have to think about it to read big numbers. And I get really nervous whenever I have to. I'm like, don't look at me! I missed this day of school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember learning this. You don't remember? It you was like very it early. It's just like part of math class. Oh, okay. You're just smarter than all the rest of us. I got it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just smarter than me. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't remember. Like all, a lot of my student yeah. workers are like, um, they're like math majors. So whenever I, there's like a math question, I just look at them and I go, practice for your career. <laughs> 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 like whenever the register breaks and we have to make change, practice for your career. Oh my God, that used to happen to me at my last job while I was like the, the apprentice. So I was the no. baby of the group. And anytime there was something like where we would get like math on paper because it was like, this is how you build this. They'd be like, here, take this and go to the office. And I'd be like, guys, I'm the least qualified person to do this. <laughs> and they're like, you, you went to college, man. Take this and do the math in the office. <laughs> oh, my God. You went, they, you went to college, so therefore you can do a complicated math. Let me tell you, I, like, you I guys, didn't take a single math class. You don't know that. I almost had to repeat my senior year of high school because I can't math. I can't. I went to I went to college for creative writing, my friends. <laughs> this is, this is not this is not the thing. You want you want me to write you a short story, a poem? What do you want? But I can't do math <laughs> for you, especially when it's something that's so critical. Like here, build this fuel tank. And I'm like, no, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Why are you having me do this? Don't don't look at me. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Um, Steven is saying your audio's a little crackly. Is it your headphone issue, maybe? Do you want to check that you have the Probably. right... Probably. The right headphone in? I thought you said it was good. <laughs> it was. I, I mean, like, maybe I'm just used to hearing you like this. Like, it's just egg from Florida is a different flavor egg. Is it real crackly, you guys? We've got Wolfbird in the chat, too. Does this suck? Uh-oh. Ah, it sucks. All right, you guys gotta give me a couple minutes, then. I thought I was good. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's I'll my be back. fault. Henry, enter entertain the people. Do 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 do. Who wants to hear a meet Undies commercial? Sing the beaches song. <laughs> peaches, 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 peaches. That's I I just know the first part. Like I watched the movie and I just kept waiting for there to be more song, but there's not really, is there? Hi guys, we're drawing um. Hal from Howl's Moving Castle today for Sasa. Um, I feel like I betrayed Egg because I told him his audio was okay, but it really was for a minute, you guys. And then I stopped paying attention and just started zoning out. I'm tired. Who else is tired? It's Wednesday. We're halfway through our week. Do 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 do. Um, me and Egg are gonna be on the roast of Stannis Baratheon, and I keep looking at my list of things that I wrote. Um. And I just keep laughing. And Pat says that's the that's like the proof of a good job, or sorry, a funny joke rather. So I'm like, I hope this is good. 
Of course, it's Frank who's the anti roasty. Um, of course, it's him. I had no questions. I love you, peaches, 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 peaches. I love you. Is that it? I don't know. Um, she's doing her best. She's tired. Um, I found out a new kind of hell at Starbucks today, which is when they make you blend uh, two frappuccinos together. Also, my dingus espresso machine was broken for a whole day, and I was like, I just want to go home. <laughs> how am I supposed to make how how I make Starbucks go without espresso? The kids need their damn white mochas. That was my version, um, Brando of, <laughs> of the beaches. <laughs> That's what we're going with. I am trying to do that kind of like iconic ish pose of how when he like takes Sosie, Sophie, Sosie. I can't speak English without egg. <laughs> See, it's just so bad. Um, where he's kind of like floating. Wa float walking across the air because I realize I draw a lot of people standing around doing nothing so I'm trying to do a little bit more dramatic posing for y'all in season two peaches peaches peach. oh god now it's in my head boop I'm working on a cover of um that fire water burn bloodhound king I, I sang you guys a little bit of uh for my birthday extravaganza it goes something like, hello, my name is Gerald Dana, and I'm a dumb white guy. I'm not older than you, but middle-aged, third-tier, but not hot pie. And that's how far I've gotten, because the next line, I'm having a hard time translating slang to other words at the moment and still keeping along the themes of the song. Vibes! I lost my chat. Oh, no. Sitting around being hot is doing something important. <laughs> oh, seasons? Um, we're doing it per year, just like we did a whole year of streams, and Egg kept calling it the end of season one, the season finale, and I thought it was great. So, you know, it's just it's just a joke, really. The soy chai, la chai latte? Yeah, I mean, like, after all this time, it's basically been a decade in between me working at Starbucks. So it's a very, very strange feeling. Like, walking through my body, like, going back in time. I, I don't like it. I've gotten past it by just basically disassociating my whole shift. But, um, the soy ch chai latte, the kids are onto the oat milk now. Um, I have not sold a single beverage with soy, which I would blow through so soy a decade ago. Everybody's into the oat milk, the almond milk, the coconut milk. Nobody cares about soy anymore. It's kind of sad. And the um, the chai tea latte has really stood the test of time. And the white mocha. Those are the two that everybody still gets. Also, the um, the refreshers are completely different. When I left, there was like an orange one and like a lime one. Now there's like, it's basically just freaking grape juice with some freeze dried berries in there. Um, mango, strawberry, or pineapple, and kids go crazy for it. It's juice. I'm selling juice. I like. Hey, buddy. <gasps> I can hear you. Can you hear me? Is it better? Is it worse? It's just quieter. Yeah, it's quieter on the audio end too. So. I'll okay, scream for you. <laughs> Here, let me turn you up. Eggs just having all kinds of technology gremlins. Ha Florida does not want him to stream. Go away. Uh, I'm not restarting a Creative right Cloud. Now too, which oh, fun. has nothing to do with the crowd, though. Muffled but not crackled. Right about the time we stream. Yeah, basically anytime poor Egg is getting ready to get on, he sends me a text message anywhere from... 15 to 5 <laughs> minutes before, and he's like, oh, storm's back. Oh, there's a hurricane. Oh, might get blown away. It's happening. Oh. <laughs> All my Midwestern yeah, oaks in there for you. Fucking take storms in and then complain about the rain. That's not what happened to you. 
That should go on like a bumper sticker, I think. That's a really good one. You don't take storms in and complain about the rain. <laughs> Are you excited about roasting too. Stannis? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. It should be fun. I still need to we still need to record it and I need to edit it still. So. Yeah, but I yeah, need to I'm go excited. in and color code our Ooh, we have an ad in 50 seconds. You guys can um, get around that ad mm. if you become a sub of Sanry Scribbles. You get no ad breaks. And right now, all subs are on sale. Let me see uh, Let me see how on sale there. Peaches, 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 peaches. You do, undies? Do, do, do. Me undies? Me ball clothes? <laughs> me small clothes it's 25 percent off one month or three month subs and 30 percent off six month subs which means that i, I get really all the money it. i normally would but it's cheaper for you guys so if you were considering subscribing now is a good time so egg found out today that howl's moving well, castle is not Sorry. We'll Couldn't understand a word of that. The Amazon, the Amazon Prime way to sign up. Yeah, if you sub on Amazon Prime, um, you have Amazon. It's it's called Amazon Gaming, and all Amazon Prime subscribers, people who already pay that fee, which is basically necessary in our world. No judgment, no shame. Uh, you get one Twitch sub free a month. The only catch is you have to resubscribe every month. If you're not already using it on another friend's channel or somebody else in the fandom, uh, Sanrio really, really appreciates appreciates those shill dollars for sure. <laughs> yeah, and not to promote them too hard, but like they give a lot of free stuff away. I think when I was playing League of Legends, they gave you like a free a free kit each month. So you'd get like a costume and a character and like some some points for buying shit. And then yeah. also I think I had Grubhub for it for a year for free, like their their like their paid mm -hmm. uh plan. They give a lot of stuff away for free to like check. They do. Out. It's good to look into it, especially if like, you know, in this economy. I think it's like twenty percent <laughs> off loot crates if you're a person who games a lot. Um Twitch loot crates specifically. Or if you're a person who some, watches a lot of Twitch. Like, if they're doing League of Legends shit, there's probably a lot more gaming stuff than I know on there. That's free. Oh, yeah, probably. Peaches, 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 peaches. <laughs> Sorry. God dang it, Egg. It's in my head now, and it won't leave. <laughs> the only thing I could sing on the fly. <laughs> I somehow willed What's you there? into that too. Did you just subscribe? You're a purple star now. Nice. <gasps> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're freed, freed of the freaking ad breaks. And yeah, we're at six. You got the 69th sub. Nice. <laughs> That's exciting. It's that is exciting. exciting. So, 80s clothes, um, because this book was written in the 80s. Let me check my message from Sasa to make sure I'm not just inventing this. 86. Book was published in 86. Modern street clothes, and what she wants on him is a sporty red jacket with gray and white accents with the words... <laughs> Sorry, I had to Are sneeze there. Are you okay? There. No, I was sneezing. <laughs> I was dying. Um, so, gray and white accents on a sporty red jacket with Welsh rugby on it. Dark hair, green eyes, like glass marbles, and an earring. Sports jacket. Sports jacket. Not like a blazer, but a jacket for sports. That's what, that's what you call, like, a fancy... Blazer is like Matt. a sports coat, right? Right. I mean, I think. Oh no, is the crackling coming back? What? 
Is it? No, it's it's just my All headphones. Right. I, uh, I can't hear my stuff. I can hear me. I can hear you. I can't hear me. That's the problem. Hey, True. Matt. Hey, Matt. Well, Which Matt? Matt? It is Shark Matt. Hey, hey. Internet connection. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's probably your poor internet connection because the internet's fighting the storm to even get you here. If you need to drop out, buddy, you can if it's driving them crazy. I personally don't care. How bad is it? I need to like turn up my foot. But also turn down. Yeah, I'm not getting a word of that, sweetheart. Sorry I called you sweetheart. I'm like used to calling all of the children at work sweetheart, so it comes out of my mouth like fifteen times a day. Hey sweetheart. No. Yeah. <laughs> Give us egg. I want egg back. Should I just sing peaches on repeat for you guys? Is that the answer? Egg's a crunchy roll. If you were a sushi roll, what would you be? I would want to be an avocado roll. But I feel like I would be a spicy salmon roll. She's a bit saucy. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. I can, in fact. Was it bad, though? It's a little bit crunchy, but we'll let Wolfling decide if it's doable or not. Or, sorry, Little Wolfbird. Oh my god, I did it. I did it that time. I conflated our wolves. Straight to hell. I'm sorry. You can just troll the chat, buddy, if it's if it's too much and too upsetting to figure out. But I, I, I need you. I always need you. I just hate being crunchy. Crunchy like the worst kind of peanut butter. Probably pissing people off with bad opinion. Wait, a worse kind of peanut butter? What are you talking about? How dare I you? I don't like crunchy peanut butter. What do you mean? Do you like crunchy peanut butter? Oh, Steven, I was calling that a uh, wolf horse. A uh, wolf horse is everything. In the new Ahsoka show that I watch every week with Pat and pretend like I know what's going on because I definitely don't. Uh, there's like this wolf horse deal. You would have loved it. Peaches, 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 peaches. Wolf rat horse? Wolf cat horse. Wolf rat horse. That mm. sounds good. The wolf rat. Yes. Is it Dave Filoni? Is that his name? Pat was screaming, Dave Filoni, you genius. I have a rant, <laughs> have a rant about Obi-Wan that Pat recorded. Or I recorded Pat ranting about that is so good, and it was to convince Mary that we need to do a, um Obi-Wan stream where we just unleash Pat and Mary and Brando and let them talk while we sit there and go, yeah, just as an excuse to get you to watch more Star Wars content, egg. But um, he did it great. It's just too big for me to upload to Discord because I don't pay them. It's just I kind of feel like the new ones or the, uh, the original ones are the next, right? Yeah, he's in the original ones. 
But we should. You think we should do them in order? You think that would make more logical sense? Did he really direct Avatar: The Last Airbender episodes, Stephen? How do you say that, Brando? Is it like Huang? Hu Yang? I can't remember. Doctor Who? Pat just calls him Doctor Who. Or the Doctor. I'm opening the other Photoshop. Who here is a Florence and the Machine fan? Because there's a certain Florence and the Machine song that every time I hear it, I'm like, that's just Howl's Moving Castle. Called Cosmic Love. I think everyone? Everyone. Right? <laughs> I, think, I think everyone? <laughs> everyone. Good. So, no, egg, you. It's way better than before. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Today we learned. It is a lot better. Good job. Uh, Little Wolfbird saying, like, how can you be involved in multiple fandoms? It's like, how many hyperfixations do you have? I counter you with that. <laughs> I feel like I dip into one and then dip out of the other while I'm into the other one. Yeah, like I make a sidebar into being into really hardcore into one for a while yeah i can only focus on one thing at a time this is true <laughs> not you specifically just like no, myself as well <laughs> oh, okay i'm sorry He's got bangs. I keep forgetting he has bangs. Bangs are so much easier to draw. This is Howland Reed? This is um Howl. Howland? Howl uh Howl Pendragon. Howland Dragon? <laughs> keep forcing the meme. Howland Dragon. <laughs> oh wow, I just heard myself again. Ah, it's because you have your computer. Yeah, I'll um, just turn your turn your audio down t a touch, and it shouldn't do that again. No problem. Like your output, speakers, whatever. Words are so hard. Wait, is audio is, is so button? hard? <laughs> That's perfect. That's so much perfect. Um, I don't know how little Wolfford do does this for a career. Now. No, I can't hey, hear yeah. myself anymore. <laughs> I don't know how she does this. Like the patience of a saint. Yo, all the headphones made me sound like crap, Wolfer. This is no headphones right now. <laughs> I, had, I had two different ones in, and they both were terrible. We don't talk about... Oh my god, I had finally got fucking Bruno stuck, or out of my head, after it had been stuck in my head for over two years... And it just came back to me today. I was free for so long. <laughs> it did just start raining kind of hard, so that could become an issue at any minute now. Cool. <laughs> just We just have the best luck. Fuck you, Storm God. I told him, I was like, Egg, are you sure you're not a Dondarian? Like, a little bit. Peaches, 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 peaches. I'm just going to sing peaches whenever it gets quiet. So how's work, buddy? It's okay. You know, nobody screamed at anyone I know today. 
That's good. I, I got see, So that. I saw an accident today and an accident yesterday, like close. One of them, was, the one yesterday was right behind me, and the one today was right in front of me. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm glad you're okay. People drive like even crazier in Florida than they do in Chicago and stuff. Listen, if I don't make fun of Florida in a stream, somebody's gonna think that I've been kidnapped. The the people here drive like idiots. They're fucking crazy. <laughs> Oh, are we spicy Nobody today? I mean, a turn signal? They don't know what a turn yeah. signal is? Oh my god, I mean, they me. probably have learned about them before, they just don't use them. Uh. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, you psychos. What would you call it's so a much jacket highway like down this? Here, it's just like, you're going too fast for this craziness. Oh my god. I did notice when I was on the coast, like, or, like, right by, what is it, the Keys, I think it's called, a Florabama, that it's just, like, 90% highways or little tiny back, um, little tiny back roads that people only drive golf carts on. <laughs> okay, that sounds cool. Well, Wolfbird says it's the best you've sounded, so, we're getting there. One day we'll defeat the audio. I make no claims to be an audio engineer. Um, I, mean, I text a little heard about that. So I'm on my tablet right now. I've used the same ones on my phone and on my computer. And it's it's happened on everything. So it, like, not that it, it was fine when I had like my gaming headphones, but then I broke them. So I've just been uh... switching out the headphones that I have since then. And Yeah, I didn't know you broke your gaming headphones. I I probably did and then forgot it because I'm an idiot. So um yeah, maybe we can sponsor a new pair of headphones for Mr. Egg. I have we'll figure out a way like to do that. That are good for they they seem decent for the computer. I used them for the stream last time, last Sunday. Yeah, those that was good. I didn't hear any issues. They're probably great. Um, they're just not ones that I'd be able to use on my tablet, and I thought we were good with these newer ones. I'm sorry, I failed you. Oh no, Crunchy. Crunchwrap Supreme. Crunchwrap Supreme. Egg is a beefy Crunchwrap Supreme. I like the chicken one better. Not gonna lie. Taco Bell ground beef, just, I don't trust it. I miss Taco Bell so much. You're, all your USB jacks died, Sarah? Oh my god, that's insane. Love went- like, I feel like I have so many pieces of stuff right now that are like hanging on by their last legs, my computer included. Like, computer's not doing great, car isn't doing great. <laughs> like, everything in my life is broken, or halfway there. <laughs> When will all my shit break? And I will be nowhere. There we go. It rhymed. It's less sad when it rhymes. Puffy jacket from the 80s. Puffy jacket. Boop. Yep. Nope. One more time. There we go. One more time. I forgot how, like, toxic kitchen environments can be. Basically, any job can be. I'm not saying I forgot how that most jobs are toxic, just, like, specifically, like, ones with people who have nothing else better to do than sit there and complain about every small thing that goes wrong in the day. And I'm not saying it's, like, anybody but quote-unquote management one more time oh 
Right after the warranty? Yeah. Yeah, my car I literally just paid off. So, of course, it's like not under warranty anymore or anything helpful to me. I really didn't want to buy a new car for a while. With the way it went selling Pat's house, we thought we were going to have, like, money for a wedding. We thought we were going to have, like, extra money, and we were going to get a hot tub. Nope. It's out of the market for 11 months or something insane. So we're a bit, a bit broker than we were hoping. Which is why I'm back slinging lattes so we can pay our taxes. Taxes are such a scam. We don't talk about Howland. No, no, no. We don't talk about Howland. Oh no, I have to read the Sarah story. Oh, it was your USB 3 jack, and then the second one broke, and then you brought a converter. <laughs> that broke three weeks later. Oh no. Yeah, sometimes I've found like it's hit or miss with any kind of cords on Amazon. Management complaining reminds me of they're all trying to find the guy who did this scene from I think you should leave. <laughs> That's the only I think you should leave bit that I actually like really find hilarious. The rest I feel like I need to watch a couple more times because I'm just like this just makes me uncomfortable man. Also, I think that guy, I think his name is Tim Robbins. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he just scares me. Like, his, he's just the ugliest man I've ever seen in my whole life. If anyone is looking for... Is if anyone is in Utah is selling a car for under 7K that is safe and reliable, let Little Wolf Bird know for her sister. <laughs> Jack is just no longer communicated with the computer because it was $400. Yeah, seems about right. <laughs> that sucks um i know there are these like little let me see if i can find it for you guys let's do a google yes nope rasp very computer this thing raspberry pi it's like this a bill dink dink You can get a keyboard, fifteen dollars. Might be worth looking into if you guys need like computer, computer. Also, as you see here, right meow, it's got different things that you can plug in. So basically, you just do that looks like USB C to a bigger USB C for your keyboard. So any wireless keyboard, probably get something going for about fifty bucks. Let's see what you cost. Do 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 do. I mean, that'll function. How much are you? Anyway, you guys get the idea. Raspberry Pi. Four hundred and twenty channel points. Smoke them exactly like Egg says. That's the only thing to do with that amount of points. Smoke them. So today I learned that Howl's Moving Castle was a book before it was a film, and I feel pretty dumb for not knowing that, considering it's my favorite Miyazaki film. And I'm definitely going to go read the book at some point, so I can be one of those people. Cool kid. Who knows book stuff. Brand. 
raspberry beret. The candy fan or the second class don't you pull a red Mary Mary So after we do our roasty poo of Stanny B, um, we will be the next, the very next day, the 24th live, doing um, Patron Dragons. I think I want to focus on drawing dragons for people who haven't had dragons yet. We have a couple new patrons. Please remember to fill out your dragon form if you care about what you get. Like if you have any ideas for names, even colors. Etc. Etc. There's also an another. option that's just like, <gasps> hello. There's another roaster in the chat. Uh oh. Pop oh, chase. Same dragons. Hey chase. Yeah, we you will see us. We are sending in something pre-recorded to try to combat eggs audio issues. Um, slash my nerves. So we will do that, and then we'll also be there for live reactions. After Sunday, I thought I was good. I was like, we could do it live. And then tonight happened. I'm like, no, we're not doing it live. We definitely have to record it. <laughs> we can sit quietly and um, Egg can mime his reactions with nods or head shakes, right? Or I can just translate it for you <laughs> based on your expression, Oof. how you feel. Uh, Little Woofford, they are um, not new dragons. We're just continuing the series because yours needs to be like painted, if I remember correctly. Let's open it and see where we're at. Take a little pause here. Only drawing sauces today, so. Beep. Beep. We got, we got time to fuck around. Fuckity fuck fuck time. Sort by date? Question mark? This one. She wore a raspberry beret. So I'm trying the mango dragon fruit refresher today, and I don't get it. It's the one the kids all lose their mind for, and I swear to God, the only reason is because it's purple. Yo, I'd buy it if it was purple. I know mean, it's that's that why one. I wanted to try one. it. Go back to the last one. This one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My recreation of what Aaron's drawing of Caraxes and Damon wearing a blanket look like? I think I pretty much nailed it. I haven't showed this to him yet. I should. <laughs> <clears throat> Nessie's is done. So eventually they're all going to look like this. And my goal is to have them bounce around the screen, basically, here. Let's not auto-select. Let's do that. Have them go like this on the bottom of the screen for you guys. One day. Oh, it's not that hard to program in. I'll figure it out. We just got to get some finished. Emma's needs to be painted. Matt's needs to be painted. Brando's needs to be painted. Eggs Dronky needs to be painted. Craig's. Alan's needs. Um, flats finished. Little Wolf Bird. Yours is pretty close. I think those are the finished flats almost. Like I need to do a little bit more detailing and see. Like I started to get in there with the black. So yeah, I think yours is the one we left off last on last time. I used Wolf Birds. I don't care if it was finished. It's okay. It's good. It's getting there. Who else? Yeah. We can either finish some up or we can work on um, inking some. Whatever you guys like, really. I usually pull it. I think that's Deerling. <laughs> and uh, that's Mama Nessie. Mama with Nessie. With her damn son plum uh, liqueur and ass waffle outfit. Nice. Nice. Relaxies. <laughs> you did see relaxies. Here, I'll put him back up there. He needs to be inked. Drooks with his drug fanny pack. So funny. Um, Pat has been calling Dana, telling her that she has a long neck like Caraxes. And every time I go, stop it. And he goes, it's a compliment. <laughs> How dare he? Her neck is perfect. I know, her neck is perfect. It's not too long. It's proportional. It just looks weird because he doesn't like to have her collar on her. I'm like, she looks naked. It makes her neck look longer. 
because it's not divided up by a purple bar. I had one of those weird semi-awake, like, you think you're awake dreams while I was napping in between my shift in the stream. And in said dream, my dogs got la lost on the college campus and I had to, like, hunt them down. It was awful. <laughs> The kids come up to me and they're collars. Uh, no. Different game when they're out of collars. Yep, I just gave them all baths so they uh, air dried for a day, and then I was too lazy to put their collars on for another day. So I think it was my inner fear of them escaping. My babies, no. My children. I'm liking this. This is a fun one. Raspberry Beret. Sorry. We're on a fruit song theme tonight. So, how was... You cleaned a ship the other day? You helped clean a boat? <laughs> Help fix is this a boat. A fix a boat, that's it. Is this an ocean going vessel or is this just like a lake vessel? It's ocean going. That's pretty cool. Not like out there, it's a little boat, but yeah. A dinky. The ocean. I fixed the bilge pump and something else. <laughs> ah, the fuel sensor. Hell yeah. But that's all down in the bilge water. Bilge water. It smells like fish. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I would vomit. We had, um, one of our cases of oat milk. Like, one of the oat milks was all swollen and, like, cracked at the top. <laughs> and my chef grabs it and he goes, Here, smell it! And, like, squeezes it and it splatters all over my glasses. And I was like, Brian, I'm gonna vomit. You can't do this to me. You can't splatter. He goes, I didn't mean it. And he 100% didn't mean it. It was just very funny that it just, like, splattered it. like that. Nah, he's a cool dude. <laughs> he sends me TikToks about the Roman Empire now. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you guys made us do it more. It's not I know. Fault. You started this. I you could I, just um, leave us to think about it in silence, and now you. Well, we didn't. I think a valuable thing I is we didn't today? know. Yeah, I haven't thought about it. Oh, now I've thought about it today. I didn't think we knew how much you guys thought about it. That's what blew my mind. I was like, "You really think about the Roman Empire like more than twice a week?" And Pat was like, "Yeah, how do you not?" And I'm like, "I've been searching for the girl equivalent, which is why I brought it up." And I think it's Pat helped me figure this out. I knew one of I them like was murder. I guess is going to sound sexist. <laughs> uh, one of them is murder and the other one that i think about is eyebrows oh, and the only reason one. you guys are the crazy only re with murder tv shows we love it we love true crime and for me i know that's because like it was like a warning like this is how you cannot get killed if you watch this episode of law and order and you're <laughs> like oh yeah here's not what not to do <laughs> Also, like, I was probably a love in love with Olivia Benton, and I just didn't know I was bisexual at that point, which is why I love Law & Order so much. Um, but it's eyebrows and murder. And I don't want to think about eyebrows every day. <laughs> but I draw my eyebrows on six out of seven days. So I'm thinking about eyebrows. And I was like, that one's kind of unfair. Like, you choose <laughs> to think about the Roman Empire, Pat. I have to draw my eyebrows on so I don't look like a crazy green. person. Okay, I'm sorry. Apparently it's not a choice. It's the infrastructure. Pat kept arguing it was the infrastructure that he was like, he thinks about. Is that what you think about? Well, like the aqueducts? Everybody thinks about mm -hmm. the aqueducts. Come on. Yeah, now. that's true. Look at those. Look at those aqueducts. Um, Pat did say something that concerned me and i want to get your, your feedback on that and the chat's feedback while while we have the class here with us he was like what if this is one of those things to prove biological sexes and i was like oh no <laughs> like to you know nope, like the not. anti yeah i hope <laughs> not i really hope not 
I don't want to participate in something if that's the case. I'm I feel already like in a war. It just comes up a lot in the things that I take in. Got you. It just gets mentioned a lot. I forget what well, it you was like... that I was watching either today or yesterday, but I was they, like, Romans got mentioned. You like historical fiction and drama, oh, right? Last Kingdom. Last Kingdom. They were climbing through the, uh, they were climbing through the, like, like the, the sewers. Mm hmm. And they were mentioning how it was a Roman city. And that's why they got down there. Nice. I'm doing Ch Chuck Taylors. <laughs> Good idea. Because that feels 80s. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally my banana. Daylight, come, and you wanna go home. I think that's right. Steven, I didn't even charge you for that one. That was a free song. You're so lucky. So spoiled. Egg, have you gone fishing before? Uh, yeah. I've never fished, and I've never camped. Really? Yeah. Ghost and Worm really want to take me camping, and they were like, what do you want your first, like, camp experience to be like? And I'm like, I want to go for it, you know? Like, I want to be out in nature. I want to poop in the woods. And they're like, no, we're asking you, like, how long can you go without a shower? And I was like, oh, like, three days, max. Can I bathe in the lake with a bar of soap? Like, my fan fictions? <laughs> um, I, I, mean... I promise you I promise you right now if Little Wolf Bird is still here tell me how many times you've read a fan fiction with Sansa bathing in a lake and Santor accidentally like quote unquote accidentally sees her and Sarah's here too so I bet she's read that as well like I swear to god that is a reoccurring theme yeah see she knows <laughs> 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 yes, or vice versa. It's Sansa staring at uh, Sans Sandor. Like it's it's a whole thing. It's like I'm not complaining. Going wolf birds. Is this in your in your um in your fan fiction <laughs> for later? Oh yeah, the gods would. Is it always Very in popular. the gods would? It Sometimes like it's, it's like you know the when they're traveling from like a lot of times it's in the uh, like the Blackwater Bay went a different way. And Sansa went with Sandor instead of, like, not going with Sandor. And so, like, they'll be traveling up north for Sandor to bring um, Sansa back. And, like, they'll be on a journey where they get closer together. And it's all, like, will they, won't they, like, tension shit. I feel like I'm revealing a lot about myself right now and I should probably stop. <laughs> Blackwater Bay. That's for peasants. Go to the Godswood. Lakes, rivers, godswoods, pools, it's all good. <laughs> yes. Put it in for me. You, you can make a fan fiction about the Riverlands. Sarah says it's usually her seeing his hot bad. Agree. Yeah, like, I, I think Pretend there's... Not to watch the other one. Yep. <laughs> this is all... The all tension. This is all things that um, women think about, also, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that and murder. That and murder, you're right. That's right. <clears throat> Sansa and Sandor. Murder. Eyebrows. It's a complete list. bottom of the shoe doesn't look right. It's going to be driving me nuts. Nope. Too big. That's what she said. Sorry, guys. I really suck at shoes. Like, and feet it is my weakness. I do my best.
I, you, to me, feel like the person who would have had, like, bands with really cool laces in high school. Yo, they were That's different true. colors. Yup. I knew it. Because <laughs> <laughs> they came with different colors. They were mm-hmm. like, you can do this color or this color. And I was like, I'm going to do both. That is I mean, the I most that, egg thing. I think that was... I, no, I think it's the most normal thing to do when they give you two different color laces. You're like, yeah, I'm doing both of them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we didn't see that at all. <laughs> I didn't see that in in my town in in the Lou. We didn't have uh, kids doing the multicolored laces look for sure. It was <laughs> uh, custom laces from like Hot Topic. I had South Park ones. Uh, I didn't have customs, but I definitely, I definitely put them both on. Nice. Yeah, they do give you two, and I was always like, what's this other pair for? Uh, for if you want to be cool. That's yeah. All. <laughs> Probably just, I'm, I mean, you're just telling the people I, I wasn't had, a cool kid. I also had Heelys. I'm sure those ones with the wheels in the bottom, if you can't tell by the name. <laughs> I, I love Heelys. I really want <laughs> new Heelys that look like work shoes so I can zoom around. <laughs> yeah, no, you would fly on your face. I remember one time, like, I'm just, like, zooming down the hallway in high school, and then my fucking pants get stuck in the wheel, and I went flying head first, Like, fucking flying. <laughs> They're dangerous. You gotta really be a seasoned healer. A seasoned healist. Um, I can barely stand <laughs> on a skateboard for what it's worth. Um, I don't think these are for me. As much as I really want them. <laughs> for the vibes i feel like they would just be like sanry gets hurt more because i'm already a klutz like i had a giant black and brew blues on my elbow from <laughs> running into a doorknob at work and like three days later my poor chef uh stuck his hand in the blender because he's so sleep deprived and had to go to the er and his whole hand is black and blue now poor dude i fell one time when we were on stream and you fell <laughs> i like yeah because it was it was when the hurricane was coming and there was like <laughs> water coming into like the porch and so i'm like trying to like take out like plugs and stuff and move stuff that i forgot about earlier and i went running and i was like because <laughs> it like restarted while we were like on the street and i was like fuck i forgot about this and this so i like went running and i slid and like ate ass and the whole side of my leg was all bruised after no. I, hope nobody, I hope nobody heard like a. Ugh. i i didn't what what stream was it do you remember <laughs> that's so have, funny I mean, you can go back and check streams yeah there might be an audible Ooh. grunt in the middle of it i hope it sounds like aria um the what is it the roblox uh, so, uh, sign, sound effect, the oof, oof, season eight, <laughs> Aria. Yeah, I hope it sounds like that. That I, Somebody find it so I can clip it. I'm so sorry you got wounded streaming with me. <laughs> That's not something I knew was a hazard. It was like, oh, I can't breathe. Where did <laughs> all of the air go? <laughs> oh, no, did you knock the air out of yourself? It sucks when that happens. Did you ever it get pushed really down fun. on the playground and, like... I was definitely laughing my ass off afterwards. <sighs> you remember when I lit my hair on fire during the Davos Finger stream? Yeah. And I should have just yeah, leaned into the camera and been like, hey, everybody, look so at my I hair. I was Peaches, 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 peaches. It's like, I'll be right back. And then I was like, nope, I'm going to take a minute. Yeah, you. if anything happens, please take a minute. Um, <laughs> I can just sing the peaches song anytime. And <laughs> while you recover from almost mortally wounding yourself on my stream. I still feel bad. Our stream. What am I saying? It's our stream, mate. You've been Your here since on the, the door, beginning. Homie. You've been so here since the beginning. I tell any boss I've ever had, whenever they try to make me take responsibility, I'm like, "Your name's on the door, bro." Nice. See, <laughs> see that? That's right actually. There? I'm gonna use that now. <laughs> yeah, because my you name. Work in a place where your boss's name is probably on the door, right? It's not. It sucks, but my name <laughs> is on my door in my office here, so. Uh, yeah, I kept my I kept my um, Mallory Dorn animator sign from 
the first office we were at at my um okay. 3d job the first thing that made me feel like i actually like was a real adult professional so i kept it <laughs> and then um i have a sign that says the witch is in it's like one of those little halloween signs and you can flip it around and it says out so i flip it around every time i go in and out my office and it makes me feel like i've accomplished something if i flip the sign you know nice i want one i'll get you one it'll say the egg is in and the egg is out or the king Sandra do you want the king work? did i miss that what did you say egg king egg king Oh, my niece, my niece is in high school and she made a, like, a chalice in ceramics class. And she just sent me pictures of it. Oh my gosh. She made it, she was like, you can have this, I made this for you. I was like, oh, I want it now, I'm going to drink everything out of it. And she was like, yeah, it's probably poison, you don't want to do that. <laughs> like, That's cool though. She did, she did respond with, you can make your enemies drink out of it. And I was like, fuck yeah, I love you. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this again? I missed that. My niece. Oh, your niece, right? Yeah. She seems really cool. Yeah, she's done. She's a little That's awesome. Little Perfect. Artist. I can't wait for Aaron to have nieces and nephews to corrupt. Brother Aaron. They're fun. Definitely fun. Okay, let's get some detail in here. We're already an hour in. Gotta get some color. It's awesome. Yeah, this is your drawing you can take as long as you want we only got um and i was bad about following up with the next art raffle winners so this is mostly on me i followed up like this morning at unholy hours like 8 to 10 to 12 p.m so are there two more or three more <laughs> um we've got up next we have cotter steph aka starkotype uh we have nerdy emma and aziz are in the next winners so <laughs> Whoever gets okay. back to me soonest will have their art raffle stream scheduled next. Yeah, that's plenty. Somebody will. You got a week. And um, <laughs> we this is two weeks in a row now while you've been working. So like, who knows? What's I'm going proud to of myself. <laughs> I'm fucking proud of myself. I'm leaning into the caffeine that I'm accessible to. Um, I like yeah. unhinged egg and sanry yell about stuff hours. I think it's very fun. It's funny. When we're you tired. decided to get mad about uh, that chef's cat for Nacho. like a good 20 minutes. It was like it was the like, whole okay, stream. Wednesdays are just going to be different now, you guys. And you're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Wednesdays are different now. I like um, I like Sassy Sandry. And she's just going to get worse until um, <laughs> until something changes. Let's just say that. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, she's just going to get more angry exactly. and more unhinged. And you guys know Egg. He's the slightly more chaotic angel Egg on my shoulder. So he's going to be like, yes, tell me about how much you love Ida. He's like Tell that me about day. how Bobby Frey sucks. <laughs> well, I have this very distinct memory of Jinx um, with the Instack at, at Ice and Fire Con where I was like, this is who he is. And I like needed no more clarifiers. I was like, this is Egg. Um, she handed was you the me? instax. What did I? She handed what you picture? the instax. You remember the, the instax, the little po yeah, the, the, Polaroid. the Polaroid, yeah, yeah. the faux Polaroid. Can and we she call goes, it okay. I'm very. <laughs> yeah, she handed you the Polaroid, and was like, okay, you need to wait. I'm gonna tell you when you can take the picture, and was gonna pose it, and uh, you immediately, within like a beat, took the picture. And Emily Denage, sorry, Emily Ghost looks great in it and she was looking directly at the camera like posing because she was like ready she didn't know what yeah, was going she knew on was gonna have, she knew exactly what was gonna happen she was like egg's got the camera this yep. we don't have time you guys just smile <laughs> just smile it was before she really knew you because it was it was uh 20 21 it wasn't this last year it was the year before oh, okay. and she she didn't really know you but she already knew you you know what i mean and uh mm -hmm. i was like that's egg he is always not gonna 100 percent follow instructions and do it his own way <laughs> We're going to do this now. Let's see what the candid gets. <laughs> Nobody watch me do this. Are you making it bigger or small? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Need a little more crotch room. Yeah, you know, for stuff. <laughs> With the most 80s outfit I think I've ever drawn on stream, I'm proud of myself. I like it. <laughs> Are you making it bigger? Yes. Egg's going to egg. 
You paused. <laughs> Cabot right. said something similar. <laughs> Cabot, what was that? I was like, I like that. Me and me and Jinx just end up like on similar sides when like something's happening. And then I was like, I don't know. I don't. It's not that we like to fight or anything. It's just that it happens. And like I turn around, I'm like, oh, Jinx is fighting too, and she's on the same side as me. Just like always, <laughs> whenever we're arguing about something. <laughs> Uh, Cabot's like it's just like yeah, Philly's gonna Philly man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Say hokey. Nope. Mario. Not today we're gonna need to do it. We're gonna need to do it. what was the the channel points for? It. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to do like a thousand <laughs> to get you to say oh hokey or Mario at this point. I've abused that privilege too much. <laughs> I can also also now psychically communicate to get you to Mario? sing on Goose. Mario? <laughs> uh, maybe it's because every single time on party you're like, why didn't you sing? <laughs> <laughs> well now I know. Because so like that bitch. I was like, Sanry's dead, it's fine. I'm gonna sing peaches. <laughs> and nobody was recording it, so you were very free. And nobody was recording. That's the funny part. I was like, ha ha. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows that I sing peaches. I was just so happy because I was literally opening up my phone to text you, sing peaches, like you were going to be able to get that in that 20 seconds. But just so you knew that that's what no, I wanted. I never see anything <laughs> for, like, for afterwards. Amazing. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I did say don't look. Is that the magic word? So when I want you guys to really pay attention, I'm going to be like, don't watch this. Don't, don't do this. Don't look. Rever I'm, I'm going to start. Don't titty. look. I'm drawing titties. <laughs> That's true. That's true. She's right. Purple hair. I'm going to switch back to my other Photoshop so I have my good brushes. Boop. 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 Now I know what to do. Yeah, I like those too. Oh, Corsola is there too. I'm a big fan of Corsola too. Is that the squirrel? I don't like the squirrel. It's I don't like the squirrel either. Accusation. But there's a Dratini and there's a Sylveon and I like Corsola now. Oh, I, I miss keep the looking Dratini. at this little Corsola. I'll see if I can find the. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> It'll take too long. Um, the it's by Star Salts. I got it off of Twitter. Pro tip, always Down. save the artist's name when you download something, like in the file name, just take the extra three seconds, chomp, chomp to do that, and then you will never have to worry about citing again. You're hot, cupcake. <laughs> I specifically only use Sanry stuff now. <laughs> I feel anytime, anytime so it's special. Like, oh shit, but I don't I, I don't have it I don't have a picture of this character in like Sanry. How about for your warm-up drawing, we do uh, egg six carrying this. I see what you're on about. I'll just whisper about. it in your ear and then, and then I can use it in a meme. I see <laughs> what you're on about now. I get it. Okay, let's do that. And what am I looking for? I wanted to show you this guy really quick while we're talking about like art and stuff. Because I don't think a lot of people realize this. You can search my website. So... Dragon. Dragons. Uh oh, there was a whole booby. Watch out. You can you can you can <laughs> even do like nipple. you know like Dark Star. Not everything is tagged perfectly, but if you're trying is that to use the crop quick... version or the full version. Oh my god. The thumbnail really makes it look like that, right? Like can't tell. I, I need know. to go there you go. So you can go in and you can like search after tagged. Just a pro tip, if you need some art, you can always use my stuff. Just give me a little credity poo. I don't Do mind. Don't tell them they can use your stuff. I use your stuff. Okay, just a <laughs> can use my full you have the full you have the full access though. Like to my entire library that I've been working on building. <clears throat> I've had a 
Everybody else has to yeah. search, seek and find. Sanry folder. Secret Sanry folder. <laughs> Don't give away your art. I steal your art. Get out of here. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> That's mine now. <laughs> So, Egg, who's your who's your um, Aswaf pairing? Like, will they, won't they? Is it Ariane and Young Griff? I mean, I like that one because it seems like we all expect one thing. So I'm interested to know if that's going to happen or if something like crazy is going to happen. Because what is it? Like, he's got... Uh, I don't want to be arrogant. That's everybody's only problem with him is that he's arrogant. But I'm like, he's got, there's options. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because like, like Arian's the best option, you know, but there, there are other people that might vie for it, I guess. Hmm. If he comes into power. Um, don't look at this. Who's the sand snake that he's got with him? Um, in Ariane's crew. Alaria? No, that's Mama Sand Elia. Snake. It's Elia, right? Elia. Is her name Elia? I don't remember. Let's look. Uh, but then, like, look at, like, um, what if, like, Marjorie flees? This is also Ooh. her third marriage, though, so, like, she ain't going for number four. It's true. She'll get, like, a Widowmaker title at that point. But honestly, like, those but, vibes, immaculate. Yeah, but if, I, I mean... I want it now. If he ends up being, like, the arrogantest of arrogant people, he might be like... I mean, he might give out the whole... What was it? Sarah? Sarah who said, like, Magor married three or married four. Uh, why can't I marry multiple people? Like, yeah. he might... If one of those lines where you're just like, oh, you're an asshole. Got it. <laughs> I don't like it. And see all see these like, options that are out there for him. I don't like that. I want I, think Sarah, Young, I want good boy Sarah, Griff. Uh, Jaharis and Alisans. Mm -hmm. I think she brought up Magor and was like, well, why can't I marry multiple people? And be like, uh, you, uh, you just clinched that you're not a good guy. Got it. <laughs> oh clinch i thought you said clench i was like clench your butt cheeks oh my god can i tell you about another oh starbucks god. thing that oh. happened to me today <laughs> does that have to do with clenching your butt cheeks it's worse no <laughs> okay so my espresso machine was broken as i noted right and <laughs> dinner time see y'all later love you bye, guys steven have a good night um bye buddy <laughs> Okay, so, uh, literally, my espresso machine was broken all, all day yesterday, and then today, until about 10.30 a.m., we opened at 7, and the guy who came in and fixed it told me that it was a buildup of espresso grounds in this chute, so there's basically, like, this vertical cylinder where the espresso pucks go down. It's all automated. There's, like, very little art left to us. Um, to bull pucks or of espresso or anything and so he's like you need to like put your fingers up there and like wiggle them around <laughs> to clean the chute and i'm like don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh don't laugh he's laugh. telling you to finger the espresso machine don't laugh You're and to have like a tool for that sanry no literally my boss comes in and goes can we use like a tool and he's like he no said. you have I'm to be telling gentle you how espresso machines work <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> Is it oh, manual no. or is it automatic? It was. It was. It was. Uh, the espresso technician, oh, bless him. I he was know very how sweet. The old ones work. He was very sweet. He was trying. <laughs> um, and he's I like, could put tell your this fingers was... in there like this. He's like finger Fucking the machine, creep. and I'm like, I am so uncomfortable <laughs> right now. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> like, and the gesture he was making, it was like the two fingers come hither motion, and I was like, you need to stop. You need to get out of my store. It is nine thirty in the morning. I can't handle this yeah, right now. I'm not mature something. enough. Right. Yeah, you know, like you it was to a get lot. It in there, and then go up a little bit, and then do the gesture. Yeah, and I was Bro, like, you need to, you need to stop. You think I've never <laughs> done this before? <laughs> 
think it's my first stop. You never got under the hood, up into the attic? Get out of here, man. <laughs> you think it's my first time fingering an espresso machine? <laughs> I've worked on espresso machines 15 times the size. <laughs> Literally, like I had, like if <laughs> you do, if right, the, the espresso water, machine. Down. Wait, there was something I wanted to get back to, but I didn't want to inter- interrupt that. Sarah's saying, I which, need to her- stop. which heroine in the story do you think would have a reverse harem? Harem, it's uh, it's Danny and it's John, yeah. and and Aegon at the same time. She's like, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for nephews here. <laughs> I'm gonna take them both. Mommy, dommy vibes. Finger the espresso machine. You can machine. each have a dragon, but you both have to kneel. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's, Emily that's would be proud ideal, of us right? right now? That's the ideal ending if everybody just behaves themselves and does that. Thruple time. Fixes everything. Three yeah. heads, we're good. That's not what's going to happen. <gasps> that's what three heads <laughs> of the dragon means. It's a thruple. We figured it out. Yeah. Right, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> It was there from the beginning. It was all there in plain sight. George, it's me again. I just wanted to let you know I'm pretty sure this is how it ends. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. You think Emily would be proud of us that we um we can find were very two more, horny, Sarah. horny in her her honor, but also um we kept it on brand and ass walkie. <laughs> yes. Okay. If, what if we make her like super in charge? Can we still not consider it that right? No, that not work. Like she's definitely in charge of these three. She's got the big one. That you can have my little dragons. <laughs> oh, you're talking. Okay, we're back to that. I yes, I see the clarification of FMM is clearly not enough. I agree. Um, give that woman more; she deserves it. <clears throat> Who are the other ones that she would take with her? She's she's got John. She's you got think Aegon, she would take? Who she wants. This is this is dark. You think she would take Jorah just to like leave him out and torture him for all of his shit? Ah, oh, just stop. People are gonna. <laughs> Literally leave the stream right now. If you continue. <laughs> Stop. Stop. We've Stop talked Mallory. about this. <laughs> Finger the espresso machine. Leave your Jorah fantasies the fuck away from the stream. I don't like <laughs> Jorah. I just think no. Um, she needs to get she needs to get Sansa and Sandor. Someone better than Both his are definitely, but that's not Jorah. It's true. <laughs> He would love it. He, of course he would love it. No, he would hate it. He'd be so mad about John and Aegon. Be like, they don't deserve you. <laughs> Those <laughs> little royal bastards. Those royal bastards don't deserve to sleep <laughs> in your bed. You deserve to be with a man from Bear Isle. Bear Isle, Khaleesi. A hairy man that'll keep you warm at night. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Not great, George. <laughs> Argyle, Argyle. Sorry, the stream with Chloe was really fun. Did you have a good time? Also, your audio sounds like really great now. Did it stop raining? It did stop raining. There's a ton of cars driving around right now, so I keep muting myself. That's okay. Traffic is better than... (laughs) Someone yeah. better than Hisdar agree. Are we taking Dario? Ooh, yeah, we'll bring him in. He got, he got, he got colored hair. What's he got? Blue hair. He's got blue hair. Yeah, he can be in this. Gold mustache. He's got blue hair. He can sit with us. Too is blue what you just John's said. Gonna have to dye his hair blue to join this. I like it. What if he comes back with white hair and he just dyes it blue, and then Danny just Yo, has three. I love that. <gasps> I've. I've heard you talk about that before on like somebody else's stream. I think maybe yeah. history of Westeros. I don't. I'm not positive, but probably. I love it because like if you think about like the things that happened to Catelyn when she died, it's mm-hmm. like she was in water, so like her her skin turned to like pudding, pudding soft they say, and um, like her hair turned white because it like started to rot. If you think mm-hmm. of like John, if he's what I think the theories uh, are saying 
the ones that we believe is that like he'd be frozen for a few days so you could totally see like the color leaving his hair i think mm-hmm. like it would preserve a lot more than preser- were was preserved with cat but like it would also like i could definitely see white hair coming from being dead but frozen for a while and then like maybe oh, yeah. his, his joints are super stiff or something like that but like also I would love the white hair. That would be sick because it would just be like reinforce the Targaryen thing, even though it would have nothing to do with that. Also, the white hair thing, the whole wolf into man, man into wolf bit, the whole um, maybe ghosts will die thing, like ghost life force will go into John. I don't like it. I'm not saying I like it. I'm just saying like that's an actual theory that would grant him uh some kind of wolfy wolf look to it because uh didn't beefish write the whole thing about john coming back like super feral i think it was positive. beefish I've re- i could I've be read more of his stuff than i've watched but i i feel like a lot of the the essays that i've read are blending together when i think about it so i just made a point specifically you talking about the white hair and then you, yeah. you have a drawing to back that up. Mm-hmm. Multiple. Like, um, I draw John more than I draw anybody else, and it's not because I, like, really like John. It's just because, like, it awesome I know exactly hair, what he though? looks like. Yeah. And indigo okay. eyes. As Sarah brings up in the chat, that's an, also another one of my, like, big, I really want this things. Please, George, give it to me. That everybody's yeah. just been, like, assuming his so eyes cool. are just, like... You know, like, uh, also, I think they're described as gray in the text. So, gray could also be, you... like, a uh, ice lavender. It's just, like, give it to me. But I want him to... I think if he comes back with colored, different colored eyes, it might be red. Red would be cool. I feel like if his death uh, is gonna push the Targaryen out, like, make him look more like that, I could totally see, like, being frozen kind of changing your eye color more icy or like if it put like ice on the outside or something it might like make purple look more more purple like dark purple look a little lighter yes i could see it i like it a lot i love that theory because what do what do people normally like actually mean when they say gray eyes because very like gray implies the existence of no color it's like a purple or a green or like on that spectrum of like changes with whatever you're wearing changes with the light kind of vibes you know i would yeah i mean i kind of think that like i would think that in in so many ways of like it's just you not seeing it clearly but then when you turn around and i'm like no roos definitely has gray eyes right <laughs> Well, they're I mean, like he's gray. like a vampire or whatever. They like, they're like foggy or something. Something is like that. Is that right? Or is he blue-eyed? I think mm-hmm. he's gray-eyed. I think they're ice-eyed. I think that, like I ice think that was how they knew that uh, Ramsey was his, was the gray eyes. I'm going to Google it right now, because I might be conflating two people. Or, actually, I already have the wiki up, because of Always course I do. Always Sand or Sarah. <laughs> Sando's eyes are gray. Sarah, I was just going to ask, Welsh is the dragon, and Welsh and Norwegian have, like, dragons in their heraldry, right? I'm not imagining that. The only noticeable feature of Roose Bolton is his strange eyes, paler than stone and, and darker than milk, like two white moons. The color is sometimes called ghost gray. Oh my god, we have to tell ghost! We have to tell Ghost. I forgot. She's gonna really like Roose Bolton, I feel like. Creepy ass. Vampire. No, I knew I knew Sandor's eyes were gray. Like, I was just hyper fixating on John for a second. He, you know how it goes. Sometimes we have to rotate. Yeah, Sandor has gray eyes. He has um, dark black hair. He's scarred on the left side of his face, which the show got wrong, if I remember correctly. There's a whole Sandor in my mind's eye that is not in the in the show, but that's a whole nother story. 
I think I lost egg. The storm finally got him. Pouring out, guys. No, I think he'd like a bong rip more. I mean, oops, not that. I didn't say that word. You know, okay. I am, I really like the, the whole John coming back as, like, wrong because of what we've seen with Catelyn, like Egg was saying li earlier, and, like, coming back with white hair and stuff. Also, he's kind of, like, rugged. Same vibes as Sandor, but I think the show also really influences me on that, because Kit Harrington is way more rugged than Book John. Yeah, the show definitely ruined, or made me love John more. But yeah, I've drawn him with indigo eyes before Sarah for Mary. And I tried to get away with it for a recent John commission I'm working on. But, uh, which I cannot reveal. <laughs> but I had to definitely make them like True Grey. Sandor Sansa fans in the chat. Do you guys know the Song of Steel fanfic? That's probably one of my favorite San San ones out there. <laughs> I just need to lean into it. We just need to do a, a freaking fanfic panel podcast. Whatever we do. Episode? Do we call them episodes? I need egg. I forgot what we call our own streams. I think I say episodes. Don't mind the clown paint. It'll get better. I recently watched the episode of King of the Hill where Bobby was a rodeo clown and I forgot how much I loved that one. I feel like I read it, God, like before I knew any of you guys, before I was in the fandom. There's certain fanfics that I've read that I'm just like, wow, this is almost better than the source material, even though it's kind of like a different story like at that point and i'm like how do you how do we remove these actual characters and make it a a la what is it 50 shades of gray type deal so much good fan fiction see where i go without egg sorry if you can hear pat yelling at the tv downstairs playing his football game He's back. Oh Hello? my god, I had you way too loud. That scared me. <laughs> I was just talking about fan fiction. Don't mind me. You left me and I no, panicked. You're good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The chat that I liked is Sarah talking about calling John Little Johnny Snow to remind herself that he's 15. I think. Oh, that's good. Constant. Like, not, not necessarily, like, the name's great, but not necessarily the name, but just going through those books and, like, constantly reminding yourself the ages of I so forget many of the all the time. movies is so important. Because, like, even, even, like, fucking Ariane, like, she's, what, 21, 22 years old? That's still a fucking baby. If you look I at it from, like, like my eyes creep. now. My eyes right now, I'm just like a 22 year old. Like you need to protect that person. Like that's a baby. Get a little more time underneath them, and I'm like, oh shit, she's still like, she's looked at as one of like, she's a little bit older in the group, you know, in the group mm -hmm. of P P POVs. When you're looking at the younger people versus the older, like Ariane is going to be considered an adult, but she's still a baby, you know. 
How old's Asha in all this? Not Osha, Asha. Looking. She might be 24. I know she's young 20s is all. And I'm thinking about myself, like, <laughs> before 25, let's not, let's not look at him as somebody that could handle shit. No, I work with 17 to 23 year olds. I am reminded every single fucking day that those are children. Like, even the 23-year-olds, like, I'm like, oh, honey, you have so many things to go through. They're like, my tummy hurts, and I'm upset about this test, and I can't figure out why my tummy hurts. And I'm like, that's called anxiety, baby. And you hold <laughs> stress in your gut. Like, how do you... <laughs> I forget. You have to learn shit. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking up Asha's age. I haven't forgotten. She does... Okay, she better have a page. There we go. Chat said it's 24. Mid-20s, yeah. Thank you, chat. Still a baby. I mean, she's not... Bye! Sansa. Or necessarily, Matt. like, start kid level. But she's she's still a kid. Not a kid, but she's she's young. That's a lot to put on you. No, Matt. <laughs> See ya, buddy. Bye, Matt. See ya, Matt. Enjoy your ball. Baldur's, Baldur's Gate game. time. Baldur's Gate has taken over the universe. I'm going to buy it. Like, I'm going like, to, like, fold it. eventually and buy it. Do you have it? It's, no. I, like, I mean, I've watched, <laughs> I've watched Matt's streams a couple of times. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to do the, uh, Oops All Bards stream. I That's think got, so. got, like, Mari and Micah and, and Stev. If uh, they're Got still going, by the it. time we end in half an hour, I'm going to send y'all over there. We're going to raid Matt. He just left, so he won't know. <laughs> Acid wash jeans. <laughs> so 80s. Mask. Overlay. Let's see. There's going to be one of these that looks right. Mm -hmm. It's the part you like, Ig. <laughs> Wait, which part? Where I mess with stuff. The filters and nonsense. Yeah. Once you're done everything and you just start playing with the... The... What's it? Just the edits, I guess? The prettiness level, yeah. The beauty, if you want, want to call it that. I would probably call it like a beauty pass if I was doing it in 3D. Like, I'd be like amplifying shit. Oh, yeah. Let's give them a little magical sky background and start slapping some stuff together. Blues. She's going. Oops, that's a circle. So, we were talking about, before I lost you, Sandor and Sansa are your favorite OTP. I don't think you finished that one. Because I put Young Griff in your head, and then we went on a Young Griff tangent. See, I can do it Sandor back. Sandor and Sansa are not my favorite. Yeah, who's your favorite Sorry. OTP? <laughs> I mean, I think, yeah, I was saying I would stick with Young Griff and Ariane. Okay. I like the new kids. I like them. New kids on the block got a bunch of Chinese food makes me sing. I hate that song. I like even if you, even if you're talking about like a TV show, I love when it's like it's a few seasons in and they're like, here's new important people. And they're like, most of the people are like, no, we're not going to consider them as important as the rest. I'm like, nah, give me that. Give me the new kids in school. I'm, I'm fine with that. Love it. So anyone that, that was introduced. Mostly in feast and dance, I'm all about. You're all well. So dark star. <laughs> <Boo. laughs> this is a San San podcast now. <laughs> you you guys don't need me. The team doesn't need me. We're good without me. We always need you. Um, there are a lot of haters. Like we get a lot of shit. I'll tell you that. I'm I, not um, a hater. <laughs> I still get hate posts all the time because I did a stream celebrating Sa Sansa once. Like, come on, guys. I know, um, 
Ghost got death threats for drawing Sansa. As uh, the first time she did fan art for our community, she got death threats for drawing Sansa. And I'm just like, y'all. Why? Rickon Sansa? What's that? The baby? Did you say the baby? Mm, I said did you ghost. Say Rick on? I thought you said Rick on Sansa. <laughs> I was like, Get out ghost of here. <laughs> got death threats for drawing Sansa, is what I said. Oh, okay. No, we don't need egg well, for a Sansa stream. Like, I mean, like I a Sansa fanfiction stream. Me, motherfucker, but you can yeah, try whatever luck. the fuck you want. You can try. Like, why would you draw Sansa? It's so <laughs> dumb. It's like, come on. She's a precious baby girl. Have you read the books? No. Definitely haven't. Right. I mean, she's a baby. They're all babies. That goes back to remember how old everybody is. If the one that I'm talking about is like 24 and I'm like, she's too young, you guys. Like, <laughs> give her some credit. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, well, look at the fucking 10 year old. <laughs> Look at the ten year old whose daddy died and she was in love with the prince. Haven't you been there? It's it's also like gentle reminder, people on the internet are all different ages too, right? Like you never know who's yeah, sliding. I don't into think your anybody games. in Okay, so I don't think anybody in the A Song of Ice and Fire fandom is down there in age that low. Oh, uh, you'd a be lot surprised of to a book series. <laughs> uh some of well you know, like let's let's look at the the uh, the, she wasn't the bleed 12. over she was, from the show. She was seventeen. She was ten. She was nine. She was She's a baby. Any age, but the real one. <laughs> she Reminder: was all these kids are coming to me and going, "My tummy hurts." And they're. I was thinking Arya as the ten-year-old when I said that. Ah. Uh, um, just for reference, I don't want to get Sansa's age wrong and end up on the on the bad list you'll get canceled <laughs> i promise <laughs> you you'll get canceled <laughs> oh. that's close that's close nine is close to ten very close right. <laughs> um well if there's like an inappropriate one that i like it's i mean it's maybe aria and gendry oh i love it's it a, i love the idea of it i mean well, it's the song. In the future. Reason. What, that little that little forest? You're my little forest, whatever. I don't remember what the song words were, but it sounded nice. I mean, so Horse I let crumble? them grow up a little. If they had a five-year gap in here, they'd be great together. But they Yeah. Don't. So we're going to kind of gap. fit together. That really beefed some things up, didn't it? If they would have just kept I'm the gap... I'm likely to be on the hate list. <laughs> What did I do? It's just it's people are rabid. The very old age of eleven. <laughs> the fact that I I'm very indifferent about it means that someone's gonna attack. But like, I mean, I bite back, so come for me, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I bite back. My name's Aeon Six. <laughs> you can call me Young Gravy, Young Grift. No, Young there's no TN Griff. <laughs> no, I'm Little absolutely Griff. drawing Little Griff. Bro. Little Griff. I'm absolutely drawing you as Young Gravy as Young Griff. I, I think it is a vaguely, perfect vaguely con. Know Young Gravy. I know, but you have a fur coat. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be friends. I didn't have the fur coat. I put on the fur coat. <laughs> oh, you just found a fur coat and put it on. Why did I? It's such an. No, I worked at a very do. fancy place. There were fancy oh. coats in the in the coat <laughs> coat closet. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory, I'm a fancy boy, didn't you know? I'm gonna try this on. You guys take a picture. Now I'm gonna try that one on. Take a picture. Move on. Makes sense. Never worked at a place with a coat check. No. I worked at a place <laughs> I where I had to stomp to around. Florida, Sarah, this is not. This is not state of origin they don't definitely don't have coat <laughs> checks anywhere in florida floridian <laughs> you think they have float for <laughs> coat checks i almost said float checks you think they have, float they have float coat checks, checks. <laughs> they definitely don't have coat checks in florida that is i talk so that much is too classy i swear it would be okay if there were just no people here like it's nice looking 
<laughs> There's palm trees. Uh, what if the, There's palm the orcas trees everywhere. just... There's cool like, animals. I've seen pelicans. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was a pelican. It was big and it was bold. It was big and it was bold? Bold. Like, I'm gonna walk around whoever the fuck I want. <laughs> That's true. Pelicans are assholes. I don't know if you know this about Just pelicans, like walking but they into are the middle all... of a picnic area that is definitely being used by a lot of people. You're like, aren't you a bird? You should be scared of us. Nope. Not scared at all. <laughs> I don't know if this is working or not, but I think it looks cool. I'm trying a new brush. Oh my god. I mean, fur coats are awful for obvious reasons, but they are so damn comfortable. <laughs> They're so nice. I was like, I'm gonna wear this until this table leaves. And nobody saw you, like, in their fur coat, right? I was in the kitchen at that point. Nice. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, somehow the person with this fur coat finds the stream and is like, <gasps> Oh, I had, like, full, like, what's that, undercut shave on my, on my hairstyle. I definitely just straight up looked like Macklemore coming out of the you thrift did. shop. You did. You did look like you were coming out of the thrift shop. Um, I showed that picture to Pat because I go, look, it's Egg. He's got a gravy coat. And Pat goes, that's a nice haircut. <laughs> Looks good in that haircut. <laughs> I'm like, don't you fucking convince him to fucking cut his hair. I'll have a fucking epilepsy. I've been texting him about it. We've been talking God. about it. I was like, I'm going to cry. I'm going to do it. And he's like, you can do it, man. Just don't tell anybody for a while. They'll get mad at you. Did he really say that? What? You're messing with me. What? Um, he came home. I told you he came home like three times to make <laughs> sure that I knew his hair was, was gone. Like... <clears throat> I was sleeping, and he came back to make sure I saw it again, woke me up, and I'm like, I'm going back to bed. This is a bad dream, because he was talking about it in the morning, <laughs> that he was going to do it. I was like, no, this is a bad dream. Your hair's still there. I it's definitely still there. cutting off all of my hair every single day down here. Every oh, single I bet. day. Like, I bet I it's just horrible. It off. It's really easy to go from long to buzz cut. It's super easy. But getting that long I back, do. I would I would not get like a normal haircut. I'd just be like, get this off my head. Bzzz, it would go real fast. <laughs> oh my god, you would just go like to like a salon and just get your hair chopped off. No, I don't know you. no. You would just would do it in your bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I would. Like, That's what I was it thinking. Would happen from me like breaking. I'd be like, this is too much. It's time. <laughs> just go and do it. Oh my god. Wolfling, yeah, I feel what's that. up? Wolfling, the wolves are here. Ow! Wolf bear. I do love twisting it all up. Ow. There are things you can do with long hair that you can't do with super short hair, but the convenience of super short hair, I get. Like, I fully get that. I miss my chicken haircut I had in college. College. I mean... I think... It's easier if you're not doing much with it. That's not true. I was going to say it's easier to make long hair look fine if you're just, like, <laughs> bundling it up. But I guess short hair, like, you really don't have to do shit. Yeah. The it's maintenance like, for the long look, hair is if, hard. If you look bad with short hair, you're not fixing it. There's no way to cover that up. If you look bad with long hair, just do it different. This is true. I can take the, um, sorry to interrupt your long hair diatribe, but I wanted to tell Sasa <laughs> if she doesn't like the, um, the, uh, acid wash, I can take it off here. If it's too 90s and not 80s enough. I think, I yeah, I think that's what she vibe. said earlier. I think the acid wash from 80s is just a lighter blue, in my opinion, where, like, it started okay. off kind of light and then it's more acid washed on the uh like it's almost all that kind of white blue color but i'm right. not positive that's f sarah not me i might have made that up variations on acid wash 
Long hair care club. I've never had a mohawk or a faux hawk, <laughs> and I really wish I had. Like, I've that's had a one of the big regrets. And a faux hawk. I want an undercut for the summer, but then I would have to hawk. regrow. My mohawk might have been my favorite hair. I loved it so much. <laughs> Did you spike it up? Sometimes, but not usually. I'm a very lazy person. It's a lot of work. But I've dyed it a bunch of times. One time, I dyed mine green, and my friend at work he had a mohawk, too. <laughs> he dyed his red. And our boss, like, we were like, this looks so cool. And he was like, you look like fucking elves right now. We're going to give you some pointy, non-slip shoes for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I hate non-slip shoes so much. <laughs> oh, they all look bad. They all look horrible. There's no, like, <laughs> there's no saving those bitches. Mine have, like, a stupid little thing on them that says, like, uh, slip resistant, and every time I'm just like, nee, 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 nee. Henry, just pull it off. Is it a tag? It's a tag, isn't it? It's yeah. a tag. It's a tag. <laughs> just okay. pull it off. <laughs> I'm very weak. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm very weak. And I, one of my weaknesses is opening <laughs> or ripping things. I'm very bad at that. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, you watched me open things at the con. You saw me struggle. No, I just meant the, the tag. Oh, the tag, yeah. No. I'm like, I've seen way too many non-slip shoes in my life. They're lugs. I'm like feeling like I'm gonna end up back in a restaurant. And it's uh, making me a little crazy. I hear you. <laughs> Anytime I go into one, I'm like, I hate this place. Even though I'm just <laughs> going there to eat. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going there to pick something up or whatever. Yeah, oh my yeah, god. exactly. I cannot enjoy, like, a night out at a restaurant. I've done too many years in them. And I'm just like, I know everything that's happening. I know everybody at my table that's annoyed is fucking stupid. And I know exactly what this person's going through right now. I want to tell everyone at my table to shut up whenever they ask a question. <laughs> nice. <coughs> uh, Wolfling says, what if we open a restaurant together, all of us? I would let a bartender Fine, stab me if they needed to. Tell to fuck off. <laughs> well, we would absolutely tell each other to fuck off all the time, would we not? There we it's go. Got, like, Lighter blue. What is it? Everybody's talking about the bear on Hulu. Like mm -hmm. People really like it, it seems. Yes, those are exactly the jeans I was thinking of. Um, I did it. But I can't even turn it on. The, the show's like like promo advertisement for it has like these there's um uh the receipt machines like printing away yes doing that the ticket machine beep, beep, and i'm like having flashbacks and i'm just like i can't i can't watch it i can't do it <laughs> big fan oh, of man. web but i can't watch it i would really recommend um that if you're having like if you have to go back to a restaurant like if we all have to go back and like work in the service industry again just disassociate <laughs> Just disassociate your whole yeah. shift. It helps. I, like, so I just I don't like take it seriously. It, I became one of those very jaded, like, if anybody's seen Waiting, like, the yep. worst of the worst in that. Uh, Naomi. Fucking Naomi. <laughs> I think that was her name. <laughs> but, um, I became, like, the worst of the worst of that, and I feel like if I went back now, I would just become, like, numb. I would just be like, I... I want no part of this chaos just give me my tips <laughs> yeah it's you just disassociate because also it's been i don't know how long it's been for you but for me it's been like almost a decade so I, like i don't take anything no, seriously like three years four years i'm like i can always go work in a book binding factory if i really have to or clean a house <laughs> like those don't exist anymore <laughs> yes they do there's one in gerard i applied they didn't want me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they'll close next year this is true probably but yeah, uh, <laughs> just don't take anything seriously anymore and just be like, you know, like I've kind of like just le leaned into the fuck everything. It doesn't matter because the world is imploding and that's the only thing that's gotten me through my shifts. I do think, yeah, that doing retail after 15 years can be interesting. Interesting's the word because I feel like I might get a lot out of it being disconnected and being like, I don't care about this fucking place. Like, I've 
<laughs> I've gone into management. I've really given a shit and like been way too responsible for my age. And then I hit the downslope and I was like, I'm going to fucking kill everything. Like I'm, I'm the worst person in this place and I recognize it. And now I need to get out. So I feel like if I went back, I'd just be like, yeah, this is, you guys are all crazy. And I completely understand what you're going through and I want no part of it. I think that would yeah. be me this time. Yep. Oh, I happening. mean, you get Isn't there, it? you get there. <laughs> and that's, that's what, that's what I'm doing. Like there's fights every day. Like I start every day with my boss, like yelling, not at me, but to me about how the or aforementioned <laughs> children, like don't close the store right when they've had no training and like yeah, yeah. nobody knows what to do and they're just everybody's just doing their best and i'm like it's not that serious you know like just just calm down everybody it's gonna be okay have you <laughs> like, ever managed like a food service place though oh dude i've been a manager since i was 18 like i managed you know, a blockbuster becomes, like, i managed so many starbuckses yeah and it's the only <laughs> thing you care about it's so crazy i hate who i was when i did that like i'm real mad at myself for that time in my life <laughs> I will tell you. Like, if you went back and did that, you'd go about it in a like different like, way, completely different way. Oh yeah, I'll tell you. I, um, I did it when I was like twenty one and twenty two, and I'm just like, there's such like a everybody's like, you're a fucking baby. No, I'm not listening to you. Yeah, and my ass was like, I'm gonna be fucking in charge, and you're gonna fucking listen to me. Like, yeah, you're fucking figure that out. And Really, if you turned around and were like, all right, like, I don't need you. I don't need it to be that way. I don't um, need it to be as serious as it is. To get this shift done. But, like, I'll take, I'll be at the top of this team, but I don't need to be in charge of this fucking team. Right. Like, if you it's go about that things serious. that way, people are just going to line up behind you to help you. That's yeah, I got there. The good thing is I got <laughs> there as a manager, but also, like, I was disrespected one too many times. Um, after I was like running a Starbucks unofficially, they like hired from the outside for a store manager. And I was like, really guys, like yep. I've Been busted. There. That was, that was when I was gone after that. I was like, goodbye. And I got my job at animation. Oh no, I stayed for a couple of years after that. Oh, I like, couldn't do it. I was like, it. nope. They'll still do it eventually. <laughs> and the first fucking animation job I applied to, I got to, and I was like, see ya. Bye bitches. I'm out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, see, I told you I could do it. I told you I was staying because I cared. And, like, the good thing, though, like, about all that and that whole experience was that fucking ice machine was the cleanest ice machine this side of Kansas yeah. City. Oh. Like, I cared. And that shit is nasty. <laughs> like, <sighs> I have some shit to tell you all about ice machines. I'm sure you other ice restaurant folks. and soda machines. Oh, yeah. And soda machines. Ooh. If you walk into a restaurant into their back and, like, Go look under their, their soda their soda hose or their like underneath the lid or their ice machine where their where the actual like cubes are that they make it, like up in the top. Both of them, because of how wet they are all the time, grow like mold. Grow mold at a very like a terrible alarming. Rate. You really have to fucking clean them all the time. You can Once tell like if you walk into a restaurant and you're new working there literally look at those things to see at what kind of fucking place you're at <laughs> yeah and if it's bad you either need to like say hey when's the last time this is clean or you need to just walk back out just walk away you can always quit <laughs> that's something i feel like also the children don't understand like as a younger adult like at 25 at 22 at 21 i'm like i can't quit well what will i do yet you will always find like you can always go dig ditches I say this, but then me and Mira, I know, have been fighting for jobs forever, so I shouldn't say that. But, like, just quit. It's Just quit. Yeah, you'll you'll like, find a way. There were managers I mean. above me when I was just, like, a baby in it. And I was, the, what, like, a shift manager before I got promoted. And they're just like, you need to run away. Like, yeah. We're, we're miserable. Get out of if, this if, before they salary your ass. <laughs> yeah, if they if you don't have coworkers like that, also quit. Like if somebody doesn't warn you, <laughs> like that was that was how I knew I could probably make it a couple months. <laughs> like, I'm gonna try for more, but I don't want to. I don't want to say too much. <laughs> but like um like I had at least three people like come up to me and they're like, "This place sucks," and I'm like, "Yep." People know. <laughs> people are aware. How are we feeling about this boy? It looks so good. I'm glad you changed those the the jean color. 
Yeah, it pops more. It now. looked good before, but this looks. I think this kind of nails it. Did Sarah say anything about the jean color? I Sarah. Like Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. This has been a really fun stream. This has I'm been glad, fun. And I'm we hit the two hours and we two. only had one. Nice. I know we haven't gotten to Sasa's dragon or anything yet, so um, I, the people who ha I haven't been able to do this, you know, I'll give them a little extra time. I don't mind. Also, this yeah, is a viewer I mean... participation stream, so... <laughs> <laughs> when we started the dragons, we did a lot more of them, and I think it's because we were newer on the stream. Mm -hmm. Um... And so we had a lot more episodes where it was like, we got we need a topic for that. And we're like, let's do, we need the dragons again. Uh, but, like, I still want to do them at least oh, yeah. once a month. Like, we got to get I this do done. Them. We just have we a lot more guests them. now, which is fun in, in its own right. <laughs> it is so very fun. fun. <laughs> Emily's very good about keeping us busy. Like, she, we're, we're planning October. I know, like, any day, as we're nearing the end of... Uh, freaking september she's gonna be like it's time to start planning november because she's just so cool <laughs> with that stuff me and egg are like oh. it's, it's still august emily what are you talking about <laughs> yeah and she's emily, like, it's emily. september it's september 11th what are you talking about <laughs> yep she helps us but yeah um anybody also who ever wants to be on the stream like i'm serious send emily a message oh, yeah. don't send me a message send emily a message she'll work you in Great. we have a whole back planning thing for it and stuff too I mean, it it gives us topics too. Like yeah. we weren't we wouldn't have covered uh, fucking Star Wars unless we had Brando and Pat on. There right. was no way the three of us were ever gonna do a Star Wars stream. We're just not strong in that field. <laughs> and we like my favorite thing to do with these streams is put my smart friends on to talk about the things that they're smart about. Like so, yeah. if you're smart and about something, it makes something... us watch them. It makes us consume that stuff that. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't have watched Arcane if you guys didn't bully me into it. Like, I just straight uh, up would have, have just watch waited. Watch Arcane, people. <laughs> watch Arcane. What is it? And Animated Antics? That's another one that we, we like a lot. That's a podcast. Um, that's Cat and Mr. J. And they just covered Arcane. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm, I'm going to within the next couple of days. I just noticed that it was on there. I think it's from last month. Nice. I'll listen to every no, single George. Arcane podcast. Buffy stream. Who's talking Buffy stream? We'll oh, Mira wants, Mira <laughs> it's wants a Buffy stream. only me that can cover that. <laughs> I'll cover the shit out of it, though. <laughs> Hang on. I That's have a like story for you. One. I have a story for you um, from friend of the channel, Viseria. I texted it to you in the Discord. I mean, Discorded it to you, but... Hang on. Did I see it? I might have seen it. Maybe. You what might you have say? seen it. Is it about Xavier? Okay, no. here we go. What? I'm getting to it. <laughs> we text a lot. Xander, I hate Xander. Wolfling, get out of here. <laughs> I was talking. She worked at the busy, the second busiest Starbucks in the country, which is in Santa Monica. Oh, I did. And she see goes. That. You're right. Yeah, I smoked a cigarette with Xander from Buffy. Not only that, I made sure it was him and not his twin brother by taking by putting his name on the cup. <laughs> which that's not a I rule. That. It's not a rule of Starbucks. You don't have to do it every time. Yeah, but she made sure. That part is amazing because you know that he has a twin brother. <laughs> yes. So I learned that's something. Like, you're you're a true fan because you knew that he had a twin brother and you had to make sure that it was the right one. <laughs> yes. Like if she would come out of the well and actually do a stream with us, which she won't, she likes her anon <laughs> anonymity, I would be like, this is the stream for you, babe. This is the stream for you. Hating Xander is not the easiest, laziest thing you can do. I can do a lot of easier, lazy things. I just don't like him for many reasons. <laughs> I think I had one, like, one Buffy friend when it was all going on, and like every time we get together, I'd be like, all right, let's talk about it. Uh, but she would always say that I was Xander, and I fucking hated that. I'm a big Anya oh. fan. I fucking hate what he did to Anya. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Fuck Xander. <laughs> uh oh, Ake, he has a little bit of you vibe. 
I feel like you look like him in this time period. Did you oh, have God. the McDonald's arch? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I feel like I, was I know told nothing. That so much. I was told that so much. I was just like, I hate you so much. <laughs> I don't know anything about Xander. I don't know anything about Buffy. He's other than my mom wouldn't let me watch it. Friend. Oh no. Xander couldn't he was... realize he was gay. Willow already realized she was gay, and if they did too, they would have kicked them off the air. Anya should have never gone back to the fucking Scooby gang. Anya should have never given up her vengeance powers after she got them back. Anya should have had a fucking spinoff as a vengeance demon. Oh, that, those were like the best three episodes of when she got her powers back. <laughs> Killed a fucking frat house full of douchebags. <laughs> douchebags. Douchebags. There we go. Let's throw some texture on this bitch. My alignment? Today. I like to think I'm somewhere in the middle. Chaotic. Good. Noise. Oh, you're definitely chaotic. chaotic uh, neutral. Yeah, chaotic neutral? good. No, chaotic good. You always mean well. <laughs> I mean true. well. You I'm always not mean well. about it. <laughs> And you'll you'll take the picture and it'll work out for somebody. <laughs> Somebody's gonna like it, but it's only gonna be one in five people that is actually in the picture. <laughs> oh. Ghost is like, I'm gonna keep this, and everybody else is like, Yeah, please keep it far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> it's on her fridge i look at it every time and i'm like that's egg oh really that's our egg <laughs> yeah i love ghost she's the best my buffy ship i don't know it's my buffy ship i don't know who of buffy's relationships do you like the most is it angel is it riley Everybody loves Riley, right? Angel. <laughs> I know who Angel is, I think. Listen, you're either team you're either team Angel or Team Spike, but Riley's uh -oh. right in the middle there doing a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to Google all these kids as we're talking about them. Why did I just call them? I kids? like Riley because Riley doesn't have superpowers. And I don't know. I mean, I'm a big fan of people who don't have superpowers. They're right there in the fight with those who have superpowers. Uh, I was never really a Riley fan, but looking back on it, I'm like, you know what? Points to you, man. <laughs> you held on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Riley. I love Giles. They all have like, really silly names. Having, being past it, I really like Giles. I mean, he doesn't have a silly name. His real name is Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rupert. Rupert Giles, and he's an old English man, and he's awesome. Rupert Giles. I'm Googling. Rippa. <laughs> this man? Love... Yeah, I didn't this... love him when I... when I was in it. I didn't love him, but... uh looking back on it i'm just like fuck yeah giles and tara i think tara might be my favorite looking back on it tara and giles and it's for opposite reasons than why i like the show why are you looking at that what is that i've never seen that picture i don't think it's real i think that's photoshop what is, why is he in that costume <laughs> favorite giles moments in buffy you're a fake fan you just added yourself just kidding what is that from that I don't know. Look like it's actually from it. It's the best thirty seconds of TV. <laughs> That's from when he opened it. I don't. Is that? Oh, season four is when he opened it. I'm pretty sure. And season four deserves a lot of skips, a lot of fast forwards. Season four, eh? Never Where mind. can I watch Buffy? What is it? Faith and Faith and Buffy go at it. Season four. That's pretty incredible. I just realized she I comes, didn't upload Craig's back. sigils. Faith's great. Kendra's great. I love a lot of side characters. Foofy? 
Why Buffy? are you praying for me? What did I do? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Something about Buffy. <laughs> I have plenty of opinions. <laughs> I have to get up at 5 a.m. And 5 a.m. is the time that I have always slept through my whole life. Why does 5 a.m. exist? Uh, for you to wake up? No. I'm it's gothic a savage. Time. Yo, they loved each other. They loved each other. If Kendra should have lived past three episodes, then I'll die on that hill. Grab a brush, put a little makeup on. Why did you leave keys on the table? <laughs> Exactly. Here you go, tell another fable. You wanted to. Oh, I love that band. Oh, Kendra. <laughs> she didn't die on a hill. Drusilla, like, fucking slit her throat with her fingernails. That asshole. <laughs> I have no memory of why I have the Cabal's face in this PSD, but it's there. I think it was for the moon. It might have been for the ah, moon. Yes. It was for the mute. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a normal alarm clock because I now sleep through all of my cell phone alarms. Yeah, I've rotated through all of my sounds that wake me up. And, you know, eventually you get so pissed off at one, you just change it. A long I'm out. time ago I read a book about Kendra. I hope it wasn't a fanfic. I read some of the books, so I feel like one of them had Kendra in it. I read some that were like the... They went back in time to old Slayers. Uh, yeah, if I get into that, if I get into that fandom again, like, I could go hard. It's been a while, but there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of history there. You found a clock in a river? You found a clock in a river? That's Sins what we of the all Father. I think I read, I think I might have read part of Sins of the Father. I think I had that book, one of those books. I'm just making you guys sit with me as I finish these, sorry. Yeah, we're just talking about Buffy now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting you buff it out, man. <laughs> we're gonna, we have to have a stream now. I mean, we've talked about it a few times, and every time we start, I'm just like, let's go! <laughs> let's go, just give me the signal, I'll be there with the fullest, whole list full of new insults. <laughs> I've been so suspenseful with a pencil ever since Prince turned himself into a symbol. <laughs> let's go! T Tension, please. Because attention, as soon as someone mentions me, here's my ten cents, my two cents is free, a new sense, who sent, you sent for me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Eminem stream next time. Buffy Eminem stream, that. Buffy stream, we also need to do a, uh, ooh. Like, Mira, I feel like you and my friend Viseria should just be friends, because she also loves cyberpunk. She got me to watch the first three episodes of Edge Runners. watermarked um yeah but egg you want to tell the people what we're back for while i officially finish up here <laughs> wait this sunday uh saturday and then sunday oh we have the roast on saturday but, um, do you remember what time see. what 3 p.m i do remember the time 3 p.m. Eastern? Uh, I'm almost positive it's Eastern. I've just started memorizing things in Eastern so that I don't mess up. It's gotta be. Everybody says Eastern first, right? Am I just crazy? You're just Philadelphia. <laughs> You're so Philly. Let's see if I can look at Twitter. What's on Sunday? What am I missing here? Sunday we're doing Patreon Dragons. Oh fuck! I think yeah. is what you're thinking of. I'm excited. We haven't done Dragons in a little while. I'm really. I, I always have to go back to. I always have to go back to Dragons. It's important. I just space on when we're doing what. I know like oh, what's yeah. in what's in the air. I just don't know which ball is coming down next. Oh my god! It's at 1 p.m. <laughs> Eastern. No, it's at 3. You were thinking. No, I'm looking at the tweet now, sweaty. I swear to God, I said three. That's Eastern, right? The roast of Stannis Baratheon. Stannis roast when is, is on 9 23 at 1 p.m. Eastern. When is that from? September 18th. Hmm. Is that when they're airing it? Are they airing it as we do it? 
patron live event. Yeah, it's supposed to be live. I remember that part. We're so bad at things. Where's Emily? <laughs> um. So in that in the uh, the message that they sent to the roasters, um... uh, they, there is a text that says, "Yes, an error in the first post." Matt corrected it later, three p.m. Eastern. I see that. Okay, it's at 3 p.m. Eastern is when we will be roasting Stanny B live with Davy's Fingers for another Scribble Fingies crossover. Also, oh yeah, there's going to be so many people. (coughs) Mr. J will be there. Who else is going to be there? I don't know if some of these are secret guests. Dop John? Of course he is. Was there any question? Was there any question when they said that we got Chase who showed up a little earlier? Asha Mm -hmm. not Yara. Is Asha not Yara doing as Asha? Or was Liz Data doing as Asha? Somebody was going as Asha. And I wanted to do as Egg Six. And I made one of the jokes where it only worked if I was going as Egg Six. But it the rest of them didn't quite work. So then I was like, nah, I'm just me. (laughs) <laughs> um should i tell the people what we're doing mm, like what i'm, I'm doing for my bit it's a surprise <laughs> okay good i'm really excited about it well, i have fun. read it we're gonna have two things going on this is true we both wrote a part and then we're gonna help each other read each other's and record it so we're doing that saturday 3 p.m. and then sunday we'll be back for patron dragons in the pit <laughs> that's good that's awesome. fun i miss dragons so i'm gonna send those of you who are I here i'm going key. to try to raid uh maddie maddie cakes here do it i think it's slash it. raid at hydroxide 13 wolfling will probably tell me she's more pro than i am nope that didn't work raid exclamation point or cl- exclamation <laughs> point clip Hydroxide 13. Raid! <laughs> nope. We'll just stop looking at Rupert Giles or whatever his name is. Just, just the, the name. name. What name? Do I type raid in the name? Thank you. See, she's the best. I just want to send him some viewers. He's streaming Baldur's Gate. Three probably with the Bard Oops All Bards crew, which is Marty Steven and who else? I I can't remember, but it's our people. Micah, I don't Micah, know if it's five or four. Am I missing? And somebody? Wolfling, I think you I should join it. them and be the only non-Bard. No, you got to be a Bard. Be a Bard. <laughs> they play they play music sometimes. They just stand there and play music. <laughs> Slash raid. I was so close. We're gonna get there. We do things either. pro. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> I did it. Just raid him. Just raid him. Just raid him, Mallory. Are we there? What's happening? Go it's be so free. Like it's, working. it's working. So it sent three viewers to him. Right now. Are we there? Pew. I'm there. I'm there. We did it. We did it. Wow. We did it. All right. Are you ready to end our stream? Because it's just me and you talking now, and I want to go bother yeah, Matt for a fun, minute. Buddy. <laughs> All right. Love I'm you, buddy. See like... you later. See ya. <laughs>